people that went to the graph at the very back, it showed the concept of homelessness. And it looked at people that are homeless. It also looked at foods, healthy foods, unhealthy foods, and the costs of those foods. And I think it was Jack, it was Jack, who wrote down that junk food is cheaper than healthy food. And Jack, how did you know that junk food was cheaper? Okay, but how did you know it was cheaper, though? Because uh, I interpreted the infographic. Okay, and what did the infographic tell you that there told was, you it was cheaper? There was a graph. Yep. There was a graph on, on the infographic yeah. that showed, like, the prices rising, like, healthy food prices rising and, like, and how much, like, and the percent of it. Okay. And, like, the um, unhealthy food, like, lower in price than the percent. Okay, so I want you to think about something for a minute. If someone is homeless, what could you infer about their income, the amount of money that they're making? If someone is homeless, what could you infer about their income? Allie? Okay, why did you pick that figure? Yeah. I see them sitting in a wheelchair or on the ground with a cup out. Yeah. So um, I think like all that sense would make around like three dollars. Okay, so so are if someone is homeless then, how much like they're not making a whole lot of money, are they? And why can you infer that they're probably not making a whole lot of money? Why would you say that? Rudy, why would you say that? Okay, and why is the job important? Because it gives them, so they can work and it gives them money. Okay. So, with all that in mind, if junk food is cheaper and people that are homeless are probably not making a lot of money, what could you tell me about their choices when it comes to purchasing food? Mariah? They probably purchase the junk food because um, it's less money and it's cheaper. And the store, they like Jack said, they know that it's not healthy for you. They make the healthy stuff a higher price than the junk food because more people would probably buy. Okay, so if we're saying that, what could you tell me then, or what could you infer about the health of a person that's homeless? If what is being said is true, that they're more likely to purchase junk food because it's cheap and that's what they can afford, what could you say then about the health of a person that's homeless? Overall health, inferred. Samad? Why? Because um, they get sick and they don't have any medicine to, to do themselves, and so, so their health gets bad. Okay, that could be one reason, but why, what else do people think about the health of someone that's homeless if what they're purchasing is junk food? Rachel? Why? Yeah, so it's not giving them the nutrients that it needs. How could eating junk food um, connect to obesity? What does obesity mean? Does someone remember? Yes? It's like when you just sit around and eat food. It's a disease. Well, it is a disease. What does it mean, though? Yeah? Mm. 
not as much. You're close. Like, you've got the concept around. Um, Rudy? Being overweight. Yes, but at an extreme of overweight. So there's lots of people that might be slightly overweight, but this is to a big extreme, and sometimes to an extreme that impacts on work so that they're not able to work. So if that were true, how do you think that knowing what you do about junk food, based on the information on homelessness, how do you think that could link to obesity? What could you say about the connection between homelessness and obesity, knowing what you know about junk food. Katerina? Yeah. It certainly looks like there could be a connection. Now, do we know this for sure? Is it going to be true for everyone? But what we did there is we took some information from a graph and then we pushed our thinking a little bit further on that graph. So in your groups, you've had a chance to look at a number of different infographics, some that you brought home last night or that you did last night for homework and some that you looked at for me in here. And I want to know from you... What did you notice? What was some interesting information or interesting things that you learned as you looked at the graphs? Layla? It was from that same uh, one that we were just talking about. Yes. It was, uh, the price of, uh, of potatoes. Yes. It went up by like $7. Yes. From the last decade. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so why was that interesting? What did that make you think? Um, I don't know. Like, it maybe, uh, well, probably because it was healthy. Yeah? So it got more expensive. And if it got more expensive, then what are the chances of someone who's homeless or struggling with money, what's their likelihood of purchasing it? Probably not very good. Why? Okay. Who else had something interesting? Mariah. Uh, I did the Twitter. Yeah. Why yes. So then if a lot of people are using Twitter then for products, what can you say about our classroom Twitter use? It's not, it's not like that. It is different, which means that the audience is probably not the same as the same audience that might use it for products. Ali? And that's a good thing to keep in mind, too. So it doesn't mean that everybody is making those same choices. 